Hey guys, it's me, the Bombay Chef Farnan Namdar, and welcome to Get Curry. Well, today's recipe is my most favorite recipe. It's a tandoor, and by now you know how much I love tandoors and barbecue. Well, today's recipe is even more special because it involves fish. Seafood is something that I personally love. Today's recipe is a tandoori pomfret. And you know what? I'm making this recipe very simple for you because for the first time ever, I'm making a recipe using one pomfret and every masala or every spice is in accordance to that one pomfret. Now, you can multiply the recipe. The recipe is there in the description box below. Check the recipe and multiply it depending on the number of pomfrets that you have. Let's do it. Let's begin with uh, the marination and uh, it is as simple as mixing the ingredients that are listed. Uh, you have a detailed recipe of course in the description box below. It's all about mixing everything together but of course I'll go in sequence. Uh, first thing is uh, curd. And like I said, I am showing you the marination as per uh, one fish. I have a large fish uh, that I am using today. But nevertheless, you can increase, decrease as per your uh, preference. To this, I am adding ginger and garlic. Of course, uh, you can use crushed, paste, whatever you like. Uh, just a little bit of basin. This is to kind of coat the marination on top of uh, the fish. Because it's a fish tandoori, I like personally using ajwain, which is uh, carom seeds. Again, this brings in that tandoori flavor naturally in uh, the fish. Coriander powder. Chaat masala. Of course, not too much, just a little. If you don't have chaat masala, you can by all means also use uh, amchur, which is uh, raw mango powder. Cumin seeds. Red chili powder. You can take a combination of chili that uh, brings in uh, spice as well as color and just a touch of turmeric. Along with this, I'm using uh, three very critical ingredients. The first one is uh, mustard oil, which is very important when you make a tandoor because uh, that brings in a nice smoky uh, aromatic flavor. Lemon juice and along with this, salt. Salt is of course to bring out uh, all the flavors and then we mix all of this now commercially at this stage uh, they add in uh, red color which is your food grade coloring um, only and only if you wish to you can add it I generally avoid it while I'm making a tandoor because uh, for me flavor is more important than uh, the color or the look of it so yeah it's going to taste brilliant just like a tandoor because this is actually the tandoor marination that i used to make uh, when i used to work in hotels and restaurants so yeah this is for you now the next step is to of course uh, marinate the fish now i have taken pomfret and i have created these gashes on both the sides i also like giving it a cut and kind of opening it out so that the marination goes uh, deep within i've cleaned it well and the next is of course to marinate this inside out so that it becomes nice and flavorful. Uh, tandoori marination on a fish does not really cling and that is the reason why we've added besan so that it forms a nice coat and uh, it just gets tastier. The fish is marinated and ready. Let's move on to the next step and that is giving it the scotch marks. The next step is to light an open flame and we take the pomfret and we hold it on top of this flame. The idea is to bring in a good color, uh, the black spots or the burn spots that you see in a tandoor. Uh, this also ensures that it becomes nice and flavorful. Of course, it's a little bit of a tedious process, but uh, it's just so tasty. I've also kept a plate or a tray, whatever you have, uh, right next to me. So I can keep placing it, keep lifting it. And eventually, I'm going to bake this. So that also becomes my bake tray. 
I like lining it because it becomes easier to kind of uh, pull it out of the oven later. Well, if you wish, you can also place the piece of pomfret straight on the burner. It becomes a little messy, but uh, it just kind of brings in more control. The pomfret has got these wonderful scotch marks. Uh, these are also known as burn spots in a tandoor. Um, now is the time to cook it in an oven because we need the fish to cook through and through. The next step is to bake this at 200 degrees Celsius for 15 minutes. With this, your tandoori pom frit is done and ready. And you know what? This recipe requires no roti, no naan, no paratha. Just the pom frit with some lachha pyaas, some nimbu, or some sirke wala pyaas. Bye for now.